Hey everyone, Kat here, and today I'm going to show you a general haul of all the things that I bought around Tokyo from various locations that we went to. Uh, none of the places were places that I bought enough to just be their own haul, so I decided to combine them all. We're going to see things from Harajuku, things from Shibuya, things from um, Odaiba, I think, and uh, the Sky Tree, and uh, Akihabara. Of course, Akihabara. There's lots of things from Akihabara because I love it. We were there for two days and it was awesome. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this really cool metallic skirt. This was, I got this actually the last night we were in Harajuku, the last night that we were in Tokyo. I saw it while we were at the Pride Parade and it was like sitting outside of a store, which I thought it was at Wago, but apparently the Wago and the spins are kind of like connected together in a weird thing where you like go down for one and up for the other. And it's really hard to tell what chops are which in certain areas in Harajuku, so I saw this and I was like went into a different Wago trying to buy it But it wasn't in there and then I realized when I went back to the Wago that I thought I saw it at That it was just outside the Wago's display, but it was actually for spins So it's really cute. The only thing is I didn't realize it doesn't have a zipper So it totally fits my waist, but since it doesn't have a zipper I can't pull this past my giant hips So I have to put this on from like this way down like it's it's just hilarious. I went with the intention of buying a bunch of socks, like different thigh highs and different prints and stuff, but when we actually got there and looked in all of the different sock stores, there was something that you couldn't get in the US and there was nothing that I really like called out to me so much um, besides, oh wait, I did get one pair of socks that I forgot about besides these ones, but I'm gonna show you these ones first. So um, this is loose socks, like the schoolgirl loose socks that you can get. And um, I love these. These ones are 100 centimeters, so they're pretty long and really slouchy. I had a pair of these for years, but the elastic is so worn out on them and just horrible. They're not even white anymore from, I don't know how many years, maybe six years I've had them now, but they're horrible. So I wanted to get new ones when we went there, but these are the first pair I got, which are really soft and really nice. And I can't remember where we bought them or how much these ones were. But then the next day we went somewhere else and I found even longer ones which were granted a lot more expensive but they're like super thick and super warm and they're not as soft as the other ones but these ones were 2,000 yen which is like roughly 20 USD um, a little bit less a little bit more depending on the conversion rate but it's around the price if you just take off the two zeros at the end or the two numbers that are at the very end of it and these are 150 centimeters so those are like a lot longer and you can tell by the thickness but i'm excited to have both because it's nice for like winter outfits and for summer outfits so the other socks that i got just from like a random sock store are these ones they're really 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 stretchy and they remind me of the cheshire cat kind of I really like the stripes on them and they have cute little bows at the ankles. These are some of the stretchiest, softy, softest, and like squishiest socks that I've ever owned. They're so squishy, like I don't understand how to describe that, but it's squish. Listen flavor. So this is a brand that I was really wanting to see when we went there and I kept missing their store, which is really funny because they're actually right off Takashita Street, like um, just like turn corner by one of the, I think it's one of the crepe shops and they're just like straight down an alley back that way and really easy to find but I just I wasn't seeing their little sign that they had in the main street of Takashita Street so I kept missing it somehow and we were just doing other things but I finally went there this is the first thing that I'm going to show you from them this is a Karomi a really cute like Karomi pin and it looks like a tattoo and they had shirts with this on it and I think a sweater and some other things it's really really cute but Karomi is my favorite uh, Sanrio character. I love Chocolate Cat, Kuromi, and Guritama. Those are my, my three bays. The artist that does this makes uh, tights that match what the characters are wearing in them. So this one, she's not wearing any printed tights, the little girls aren't. But if the girls were, there were like some printed tights that you could get that match the characters that are drawn on here, which is really cool. But I really love nurses, so I had to get this one. There was a bunch of really cute girls in these little keychains, and I did get a pair of tights. Uh, these ones I wanted so bad, so they, these are on my list of things that I have to get when I go to Japan. And these are some really cool, like, uh, 
I don't know how to explain it. Like syringes, band-aids, pills. Um, there's like a medical kind of like uh, horror style fashion. It's like medical and gore, but like cutesy that's going around right now. And a lot of people have been talking about it online and on forums and stuff. And all the different really cute stuff that I'm seeing, I'm just like super in love with since I really like syringes and pills and the way they look. So I wanted to get into it and I needed these in particular. I really, really like these. So I'm excited to wear them soon for an outfit. I can show you guys. If you guys want to do a lookbook of things that I bought while well, in Japan, like mixing them into outfits that I, from things I've bought in the US, if you want to see that, let me know down in the comments below and I could get that done for you. So this is from Broken Doll and it's this really cool syringe earring. And you can see on the back all of pictures with the creator and different people and if you want to check it out broken doll just search it on instagram they have an instagram but i've been like eyeing these syringes forever now so i'm so glad that i was able to get one and i really like this one the coloring for this one's really really cool and it is an earring but i think i'm gonna put it on a choker because i don't really wear earrings very often but i really wanted this syringe in particular of all the syringes that i saw there so i got it and i'm just gonna put it on a cute little choker so then, of course, you guys know I went to 6% Doki Doki, which is a really, really famous shop. And I got this little bracelet. It's so cute. 6% uh, Doki Doki. I don't know. Is that backwards to you guys? Backwards to me? I'm not sure. I don't know. But there it is. And it is so cute. Also, this is a bracelet, and it's kind of like on stretchy material. But it's a really cute bracelet. But I was thinking it would be really cute at necklace because then you could read it all at once so i think i'm gonna make it into like a necklace or like a cute choker i don't know why i just really like necklaces more than any other jewelry in the world the last place that i went to was the spins and this spins i've been walking by forever the whole trip so i ended up going there for the love live powerpuff girl collab that they did and this is so cute it is nozomi as a powerpuff girl she has her little tarot card. She looks so cute and I'm really glad I got this one. I love it so much. Now we're going to move on from the Harajuku and fashion stuff. And I have just a little stack of little pamphlets and different things that I consider souvenirs from Japan of different events we went to. I have like our little um, ticket stubs from when we were at Rainbow Pride Parade. That was so cool. I'm so glad that we got to experience Pride in Tokyo. That's like... An amazing experience that like you just kind of randomly get and it was a good way to end our trip. This is a coaster from the Milky Way Cafe that we went to. The Milky Way Cafe is so cute. I filmed quite a bit of it in there and the food was delicious. Our omelet rice was the best omelet rice I've ever had. And then I have like a little flyer for May Dreamin. And then this is a ticket for the Roppongi Hills when we went to go to the Sailor Moon exhibit with Kelly Cat. She took us there as a surprise so make sure to watch that vlog video if you haven't yet it's pretty cool second day that we were in tokyo we went to akihabara because i had reservations at the love live cafe and when you get the curry you get these three in there and they're like uh if you play the game they're like the little song uh album cover things that you get in the game so you get three different ones for our drinks we got uh katori and umi i think we got maki first but we traded for and then when you order the parfait, depending on which parfait you get, you get one of these three. So I ordered the smile parfait, obviously. For uh, the full meal thing, you get this one. Looked around in Akihabara for a little bit and then straight to at home cafe. And we got souvenir pictures with the maids. We ordered the meals that you get to the pictures. So the first picture is Dean and me together and our cute maid that we got. I don't know if you guys can see that, but she's looking so cute, right? We all look really cute. And then it comes in this really cool folder. So that's a really nice souvenir to keep. It made me so happy. I love it so much. And then the other picture is just me and one of our maids. And I really love this maid. She's so cute, right guys? Look how cute she is. And it comes in another souvenir folder. And then I got two coasters from at home. And we also got the master cards for, um, these are kind of like point cards, but they look like little credit cards and they're 
like a certificate of you being a master of the household at at home cafe and you can get different levels so once you fill this up you get another color and the friend that we were with she goes so much that she has the other color one and she's I think might be getting close to the like top tier one. Straight from that home cafe we went to Maydream and it was kind of a cafe day and we got these pictures with maids. They're so cute, I love them. I didn't think we were gonna get two but then we ended up kind of getting two and we were kind of drunk. No, more than kind of drunk while we were there. But it was very, very, very fun. We got a lot of gachapan ball machine things. This one is a Honoga. This one is Katori. This is from, if I don't know if you guys, anybody's seen this show. This is My Sister is Among Them. And this is one of the girls from the series. I didn't get my main waifu, Cream Puff Girl, but I did get the girl that I love second best, uh, the one who owns the maid cafe, or the cat girl maid cafe. And she's like a little witch, so always really liked her and I was happy to get her so I have her out because I'm gonna keep this one for sure we got this special stitch one it's like luau stitch it's so cute made her and he's like got squishy eyes like all squishy squishy eyes oh this one's really cool I forgot about this one man I'm so excited again it's like Christmas all over this is a cool look at that Disney ring I don't know yeah it's so cool it's like a mini mouse and it's a ghost. I love this so much. It's like the coolest thing ever. We went to the Q-Pot stand while we were in Odaiba and they have a quarter machine. Yeah, that one's really pretty, right? Oh, I forgot. When we were at, at home, we actually got this too. This is a little Hello Kitty charm. And it is Hello Kitty as a maid, an at-home cafe maid, and she's holding Ami Rice. I thought that was adorable. And to go with that, we got this, which is, I love hand towels. You guys know that I love hand towels. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I'm addicted to hand towels. I have so many different ones. So we got this Hello Kitty made one, which I'm probably not going to use because I don't want it to get messed up. But it's so cute, isn't it? Love it. So, 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 so cute. And then when we were in, we only got one thing while we were in Ikebukuro, and that was this cute it's spinel from cardcaptor sakura and it's like a little cookie this one was only 300 yen so like super cheap and you get all the pieces in it and you get the one you want because you can actually see it so you can pick it out so dean got this one he really loves toy story it's like a zerg water bottle a little like container buzz guy iron man and some other little things in there we got this one, it is a Luna P ball with a little chibi on top. It's a birthday cake, so you can put like whatever numbers and stuff that you want in it. I haven't taken it out yet because it has really small parts, but when I put it together, I'll post a picture on my Facebook if you guys want to see what it looks like put together, but it's so cute. So this is my Ida bag. I got the heart bag at Wego, and you can get all different colors. I wanted lavender for Nozomi. There's a ton of different pins and some pins out here, clippy uh, straps, different straps, and I have some more that I still need to add to it. But it's kind of like haphazardly sewn on in, the, in our Airbnb while I was trying to get it ready for the next day after I bought all these straps. So I'm not going to show you this yet i'm going to wait and do a separate video where you can see all of the straps and everything in detail but just showing you this is something that was where I, all my money went to i only brought home one food item snack and that was this little like tiny little like cup of compaito which is i talked about this in my disney haul video and it's like a little traditional sugar candy. It's just like sugar rock candy. I love fake food. So I went to the fake food shop in the Sky Tree. I think it was the Sky Tree. And I got this. And it's the sample and cooking. And I watch these videos of people doing these all the time. I was so excited to get one. So I got the green tea one. I really love green tea flavored things. And this one has the cute little mochi balls, which I thought was adorable. And then I got extras because you can get extra like add-ons. That place was so packed though. It was literally the, the most packed store we went into the whole trip. It was like you like everybody was so pressed against each other. It was like un like uncomfortable and sometimes painful in areas trying to get through. But I got my stuff. So um, I got an extra little green tea ice cream and some little chocolate cookie things and a little wafer like stick. And I'm gonna add those into my thing and see it comes with like 
These are like the little red beans that you cut out and then you put at the bottom. And I will do a video making this for you guys so you can see it eventually. It will be awesome. And it comes with English instructions too, just in case you need to know how to make it. But I'm really excited to see that. That will be another video coming out soon. The first is this awesome kiku. So at, oh crap, I cannot remember the name of this place that we went to. Don Quixote. I never see the chromey one, and when I do, it's like crazy expensive, so I was really excited to find a chromey one. I think this was the last chromey one there, too. So I grabbed that one, and then I saw Scrump, and you guys know I love Scrump, so I got Scrump, and I'm really excited to wear the Scrump one. Like, I was really excited about the chromey one, but she has like an all-white body. I'm afraid that I'm going to get myself dirty, but I still really, really, really love it. But Scrump, man, I can get it. I can get so drunk at con parties in Scrump and just... Be beautiful and scrumpy, scrumpalicious. Do you guys want to see Dean in this? Because I want to see Dean in this video. Let's put him in it. Dance for us, scrump. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Thumbs up if you think Dean looks really cute as scrump. Hello, scrump, scrump man. Scrump, scrump, scrump. Scrump, scrump, scrump. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you guys later and be sure to check all the other Disney hauls and Disney vlogs of Dean in them. <laughs> Do you like it? Are you dying? It's really hot. It's 116 degrees outside. There's no air conditioning on and the fan's off because of filming this video. So I'm going to end it now. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Check the links down below. Comment if you want. And we'll see you. Bye. Scrum, 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 scrum. <laughs> <laughs>